everyone and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. In today's DIY I'll be doing two different DIYs. The first one will be an upcycle on this beautiful apple that I found at Goodwill. I paid $2.99 for it. It was originally from TJ Maxx for $9.99 just in case you guys want to check out TJ Maxx. Although I'm using this large apple you can do this DIY with any fruit any size you can even do this with pumpkins as well because we're into the fall season so i'm going to go ahead and clean this up really well and then i'm going to spray paint it silver now you can go with gold you can go with red it's totally up to you and i'll give you some other options on what you can use when i start decorating it let's do that and then i'll be right back okay guys i'm back and this is how my apple looks Now again, you don't have to use an apple, you can use a pumpkin. All right, so here I have some metal leaf adhesive, and I've already put some in this cup, just a little. And here's my silver leaf that I'll be using. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is take my brush, put it inside the adhesive, and brush it on. Now I'm only brushing it on the leaves and maybe the stem. So I'm going to let this adhesive sit up for about 30 minutes. Then I'll come back and apply the silver leaf. Now keep in mind, whenever you're doing this, you only want to put the adhesive where you want the silver leaf to attach. Okay, moving right along. It's been about 30 minutes. So now I'm just going to check the tackiness. You'll know that it's ready when you touch it and you can feel the tackiness, but you don't feel it on your finger. I'm going to use this big paintbrush and open up the silver leaf and just lay it on there. And here's what the leaves look like. So now what I want to do is put crushed glass on my apples. And I bet you guys probably figured it out. Now you don't have to use crushed glass. You can use bling. You can also use rhinestones or anything else you want. You really don't even have to decorate the whole apple with it. Of course I'm using silver crushed glass. But you can also use red or black if you want to. Initially I was going to make this a black apple. And then do like the silver leaves. But at the last minute I changed my mind. Again, I'm going with the silver. So I'm just gonna empty this into this bowl. And when I need to refresh it, I have the other container. I'm gonna use my Podge to glue the glass onto the apple. All right, so let's get started. And now you just pour the glass over the apple. So now I'm just going to continue to add more Mod Podge and more crushed glass. Okay, the first layer of Mod Podge and glass is dry. Now I'll go back in and fill in any open spaces with more Mod Podge and glass.
Now I'll let the Mod Podge dry for about 30 minutes and then shake off the excess glass. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So as you can see, I'm losing some of my glass. So what I need to do now is seal it in place. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge, maybe one third of Mod Podge to two thirds water. Mix it. And now just dab it on. And this will activate the Mod Podge that's already on the apple and help to seal the glass in place. So what I did was sprinkle some of this big chunky glitter on top and all of it won't stick but some of it will. So now I'm going to come in with some really fine silver glitter and sprinkle a little bit on. Okay so I'm going to let this completely dry come back and let you see what it looks like. Okay guys for this DIY I'll be using this jewelry box from the Dollar Tree Plus section. And as you can see, it's $5. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and remove these tabs so I can remove the centerpiece. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these back or completely remove them and then paint the entire box silver. As you can see, I spray painted the silver. And the reason I spray painted the silver is because I really don't know how I'm going to decorate it but more than likely, it'll be with silver bling. Here's a piece that goes here. Originally, I had a different idea for this part, but I'm going to go ahead and design it a little bit different now. So what I want to do is just go ahead and start decorating the outside of the box. Here, I have some silver bling, and I also have some pink bling in the same design. And I also have this beautiful pink adhesive bling that I'll be using as well. So let's get started. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with silver on this side, but I'm only going to use half. I'm going to use some of this Dollar Tree Fix All glue. Now I'm going to measure and put some on this side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to go all the way around and then come back. Here's what the pink bling looks like out of the plastic. I went ahead and lined it up to see where I needed to cut it. And I went ahead and cut a piece off camera. So all that I'm gonna do now is lay it up here again, measure and see where I need to cut it. Now remove the backing. It is raining outside and I'm so happy. Okay, now just line this up and lay it down. So that's how that looks so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put pieces all the way around and then come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm done adding the pink bling all the way around. Now in the back I had to cut it. So the next thing I want to do is take some more of my silver bling, but this time I want to put it right around the top. And for it to fit, I need to cut off part of it. This is what I cut off. And now it looks like this. So what I'm going to do is glue it on. Okay guys, sorry my battery died. Next I wanna go ahead and trim this out with some of the silver bling that looks like the pink. What I've noticed is when you use thin pieces of this bling, is that it will start to lift up. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to help it stick better. Okay, just like that. 
Again, I'll go all the way around the box. When I'm done, I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm done adding the bling all the way around as you can see. So now I'm going to add pink around this part. I'm going to put it right there. Again, I'm going to use a fix-all glue. Again, I'll go off camera and put it around the other three sides as well. Okay, for the top, I'm going to use some more of this pink bling. So what you need to do is just measure and cut. Now I'm going to need to take off one of these little beaded lines. Again, I'm going to use more of my fix-all glue. Just like that. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so this is what it looks like completed. Alright, so the very next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this back in place, but before I do that, I'm going to make a small notch in the board. And here's what the little notch looks like. And the reason I put that notch in it is because I'm going to add some string lights on the top of this. So now I'll take my hot glue gun and glue the wire down to the board. Now this can be a little time consuming. I'm just going to spiral it around and put glue on top. Okay, I turned the light on so you can see the string lights and the glue. So this is going to be the back and this is why I left a little notch. So I just want to go ahead and put some glue here. Okay, just like that. Back to my box. Just going to go in like this. And right here, the switch is here, so you'll be able to turn it on and off. So I'm going to add some of the Dollar Tree Fix All right inside. And now I add some hot glue. Now just hold that in place until the hot glue sets up. Alright, so once you do that, you have this. Okay, so I guess you guys are wondering where I'm going with this. Before I go on to the next step, I'd like to show you the Dollar Tree string lights. But you can use these as well. Next, I have some of these pink diamond shaped gems. And I found these at Amazon and I'll link them below. I have some gems from Dollar Tree. I also have some of these left over from Michaels. What I'm going to do is just mix a few together like that. I'm just going to add some on top. I have some of these larger ones. Maybe I can put that like in the corner. Or do I want to put it like in the middle? I'm going to start out with this large one. I'm going to put it over in the corner. Now I'll just add some pink ones wherever. Just like that. So I'm just going to continue to glue these on and then come back. Okay, I'm almost done. I just need to add a few more diamonds here. I'm done adding the diamonds to the very top of my jewelry box and I absolutely love it. Now it's time to add some feet to my jewelry box. 
and I think these crystal knobs will do the trick. Okay, so I have four of these beautiful crystal knobs. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these onto the base. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this fix all glue, even though it's not that strong. Now I'd rather use Gorilla Glue, but since the fix all glue has not dried on my box, I won't use the Gorilla Glue because I don't want the two different odors to mix in the air. As you can see, the knobs make perfect feet for my jewelry box. To make the front of my box more decorative, I'm going to use a Chanel logo. And more than likely, you won't be able to find these, but don't worry, because I have a DIY that'll show you how to make Chanel inspired logos. And I'll link it below in the description. And also remember you can use a brooch or anything that you like to decorate your box. Okay, and just like that I'm done. So now I'll clean up the glue webs, light it up, put it on display, and let you see what it looks like. But first, let us take a look at my beautiful glam and blingy apple. I think the silver leaf complements the crushed glass beautifully. I know that I was lucky to find this apple at Goodwill, but like I said before, you can DIY any decorative fruit the same way. While working on this DIY, I decided that I will use the black crushed glass on a pumpkin, but it'll be on my second channel. So please stay tuned, it'll be up very soon. And finally, here's my gorgeous pink diamond filled jewelry box. As you can see, I added this cute little crown right above the Chanel inspired logo. And I think both pieces complement each other very well. Now let's see what it looks like when I turn on the string lights. On camera, the string lights appear to be blue, but in person, they are completely clear, making the pink and clear gems glow. This is the perfect DIY for us clam, blingy, girly girls. I hope that you enjoyed this DIY, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.